Alright guys, what's going on? So, I wanted to show off this binder of what I call uh, the Legends. So let me just try to maneuver this in here. So, I got some uh, Nolan Ryan cards here to start with, who he basically was my childhood hero. Uh, he and uh, Joe Montana. I moved to Texas after living in Germany for a few years, and uh, it's when I really, really got into baseball. And of course, he was with the Rangers at the time, and he was throwing no hitters. And man, the guy, you know, immediately became my hero. So a lot of these cards are from my childhood, and uh, there's a lot in here too that I've just, you know purchased or some of you guys have sent my way so I gotta say thanks to that and again thanks to everybody for the birthday wishes it was a great week and great day so hope everybody's had a good week so far uh, just glad it's <laughs> I'm glad it's over man this is a long week went to the GameStop today. Let me I'm going to start by talking about some of this stuff too. While I'm showing these cards. So GameStop I had uh here's Pete Rose. I had traded in some games a few weeks ago. Now let me start by saying I traded in I got for 3 games I got $11 in credit. Two of the games they gave me 83 cents. I'm sorry, I got seven dollars in credit. They gave me eighty-three cents, so a dollar and seventy-six cents for two games combined. Ugh. I was pissed, but uh, anyway, I was able to trade in some more games. I ended up buying a brand new copy of Far Cry Three. I know, I know, I'm like almost a year behind on that, but that's usually how I buy games, unless it's something. You know, like Batman Arkham Asylum or something like that. Here's some Frank Robinson cards. Uh, really, really like this guy. I think he's one of the more underrated players from his era. And that's a vintage card right there. Really like uh, his manager card. Some nice minis there. I started some Harmon Killebrew. Uh, I have uh, a few more of his cards somewhere. I just haven't put them all in there just yet. Here's some Ty Cobb cards. Really nice 206. So there's a, a, a variant. And I'll show you what I mean. There's some First Class Legends cards. These uh, ones that are like bronze or gold bordered there are serial numbered. As you can see, there's the variation. And the, the back comes with those stains on it, so it's pretty cool. So Tyrus Cobb. A very, very vile human being. <laughs> but a great baseball player, so. There's a short print from 11, 2011. There's my Babe Ruth cards. Again, I think you guys can see why I call this my Legends Binder. These are really the uh, legends of the game, in my opinion. Babe Ruth. You see, there's this Hall of Fame plaque there. Or is that his Yankee Stadium? I don't know. Either way. And of course, we got the Say Hey Kid. Willie Mays. Don't have too many of his cards. I do have uh, the original of that too, as long as it's nice uh, archives uh, version there. And then Brooks Robinson, which that's a vintage card. The Human Vacuum Cleaner. The guy had a World Series named after him. Simply the Brooks Robinson series. That guy is amazing. Of course, we got Sandy Koufax. 
You know, there's no telling. This guy, he retired, you know, fairly early into his career. And if, you know, he pitched, like, in this time period where pitchers are, you know, really, really taken care of and shut down after so many innings here and all this Tommy John, there's no telling what Sandy Koufax would have been like, man. And especially this Bob Gibson. This guy, oh, my God. I really didn't know too much about him until I got the MLB Network and they were showing uh, all these countdowns and he kept popping up, especially for his World Series performances. And the guy was incredible. And of course, Honus Wagner, the Pirates. I love that 1990 Tops reprint there. That's a freaking awesome card. And Lou Gehrig. Of course, giving his speech there. Got the oversized version of that, which is amazing. Really nice mini there. And on the Yaz, which that one is vintage. Yep. Couldn't remember if it was that one or the 75. I like that Ziploc card, that's pretty cool. And of course, Jackie Robinson. Still haven't seen the movie 42. I've been meaning to. I haven't heard nothing but good things about it. And there he is. Sliding in at home. Yogi said he was out. And he looked out to me, but he was called safe. And then of course, Jim Palmer. Uh, I believe that one is vintage. I could be wrong. I probably am. Nope. They come out with so many reprints. Yeah, so you have the reprint too. Really like that uh, Gaudi. That is nice. It's a nice Jim Palmer. And of course, Roberto Clemente. Cut down in his, in his prime, man. There's no telling how many World Series the Pirates would have won uh, had he, you know, not died. That's uh, numbered out of 75, I think. And there's some Al K line cards. Really like some of these older players. And of course, got Willie McCovey. It's really strange when they print cards of him in a like, Padres uniform. It's really weird. I don't know why Topps even does that. And then there's my Hank Aaron cards, the the few that I have. Uh, so, there you have it. So everybody, enjoy the weekend. Drink beer, play some Xbox. Hit me up if you got Xbox Live. Gamer tags, Kurt McGirt. All right, you guys. Later.